Jagger Van Fionn and Bjorn Sager Van Okay, we're back with part six. We got rocked. And not in a good way. What the fuck happened? We got destroyed. It was it was a fucking bloodbath. Gotta come back and beat the asses. This is not good. This is like torture watching this. It was like going so good. Oh, my furry babies. Look at them. Look how cute. Look at that face. Look at those faces. Cannot take all the cuteness of those fresh doggies. This poor bastard. I don't know if we did the right thing. They could have covered him up. Come on. Oh. Kata. Oh, she is. She is not happy with him. What you did was right. Was it? I did what I had to do. I'll let you light the pyre. Poor Kata. He was a good friend. He was a thief, but he was a good friend. They should have let Sylvie do it. Hope she don't try and kill us. Man, that was brutal. Sorry, Sylvie. I saw Your arrival me. has changed everything. Even though we've been preparing for it all our lives, now we don't have much time. We were sent here for a reason, to protect yes. the North Grove. Winter is coming, and we have a role to play in the war to come. Yes, what is it? Our father never would have wanted us to stand by and see how his forced or fall. Not while we can still do something about That's it. That's right, let's kick it's the man. Too late come to on. Wrath. It may already be lost. You know, protecting the North Grove is the right uh, thing to am do. Am I gonna have to choose? Those were Gregor's last words. They sent you. You should decide. Oh, great. Come on. There, there is no right, good decision here. I stay. We're fucked. I leave. We're fucked. So. We're fucked. <laughs> I don't know what to do. We march. He would march. He would march home and try and fix it. House Forrester needs our help. So we'll gather our forces and march south. May the gods guide us and protect us. Shh, 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 shh. Hi, baby. I'm going to first. Good boy. In the name of the king, I hereby sentence you to death. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> what kind of operation are you running here, people? Ah! You forgot something, sir? Excuse me? You forgot something? Shush. Shh, 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 shh. Oh, there's Sarah. Shh. Ah! Shush. Bring forth the next prisoner. Um. Do I, do I have to? Hmm. Nope. Why? Oh, you fucker. <gasps> Ain't right. 
This was this a conspiracy all along. He's accused of murdering a loyal servant of the king. Fuck him. Who here bears witness to her crimes? I will speak to them. This woman is a traitor and a murderer. Kill her! She's innocent! A disgrace to her family! I'm not gonna stoop to his level. Fuck him. I'm gonna stand tall, bitch. Mira Forrester, in the sight of gods and men, and in the name of the king, I, have a scream. I sentence you to die. Shame! Raven! Kill her! If you have final words, Shame! speak them now. A shame? She's innocent! Oh, this poor Tom. Iron from Iron ice! From ice. Am I its bitches? Neil. Fuck that. Damn it, I don't want to go out like this. This is not right. <sighs> Fuck you. Fuck King's Landing. Oh, Telltale. And the chills. Oh, god damn it! God damn you! Fucking hell. At least I didn't go out like a bitch, though. God damn it. Okay, I want to live at the North Grove because this is a fucking awesome place. Polar bears as friends, you get to live in cool ass trees, you get to wear cool clothes and dreadlocks. <laughs> I don't know what's up with these fucking people. These fucking hot messes. <laughs> Yay! Pickle! Pickle's the bear. Fight, 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 fight. Sorry I hurt you, Pickles. Come on, Sylvie. Don't be mad. Oh, he's going Oh my god, wait till he sees what the fuck happens there. He's gonna lose it. Oh, who would want to live in a cool tree like that? Come on. Cool ass, please. Can't believe Mira. I wonder if she would have lived House either way. Forrester. They were nothing but Stark loyalists. And the Starks are dead. Are you listening, Reek? Father wanted to make sure they bend the knee. And what do I find? A child lord. Ethan the Wise with his bulldog sentinel at his side. As if I'd be afraid. What is going on here? What and is I happening? Thought, oh, this is going to be fun. Mira was so devoted when we first came to King's Landing. What is that happening? That day Cersei dragged her before the throne. Grandmother, I was actually worried for her. But she didn't have any trouble swearing loyalty to Joffrey right in front of me. And then that whole business with Tyrion. Is this over? She stayed loyal to me when it mattered. But now, with what they did to her, who knows what Mira was doing behind my back. Grandmother, yeah, it makes me question if she was ever loyal to me at all. I saw something of myself in Garrett Tuttle. I thought I could trust in him, Sam, but I was wrong. He gave me his word that he'd stay true to the vows he'd made in the godswood. Yet before a day was out, a brother was dead atop the wall. I needed his sword at Craster's. I defended him to Frostfinger. And it cost me. 
whatever happened up there, a man of the watch doesn't run away. Who should return then? But another Lord Forrester. Roderick. Back I'm from the so twins, his right balls so shrunken he let Griff Whitehill beat him into the mud in his own yard. Reek, I had to come and see this walking tragedy for myself. It was Reek. But he didn't even have the courage to stab me with my own blade. I did! But then, he jabbed out that fourthborn's eye. I did I was stab rather Ramsey. starting to like him. A shame he didn't last longer. Roderick. Yeah, that Savior was kind of split down the middle. Couldn't that's, uh... save any. There was something about Asher Forrester. You would have liked him, Miss Sandai. He was rather earnest, I suppose. But he had heart, fighting with a former slave by his side. Asher needed my help. I needed to know if he deserved it, so I tested him. But I was disappointed. He seemed a man who cared of nothing more than the moment. But afterward, his uncle told me the truth. That Asher had been protecting his friend, a former slave. Shh. He had gave up all he came here for to protect her secret. He earned my respect in the end. If not my help. Loyalty. This better Friendship. not be the end. Respect. Without them, we have... Nothing. I think... In the end... Mira came to understand that, Grandmother. What is happening? She could so easily have turned on Sarah to protect herself. But instead, what she did it took grace. If you're fierce enough, you leave King's Landing with your honor intact. Mira proved that. But at so high a cost. I could have told you the story wasn't going to have a happy ending. Roderick dead, his time. mother dead. His little pile of timber in ruins. I just wish I'd been there to see it. But if I didn't hold that the gate, Bolton they all would have been let dead. Their upstart houses go to war, Father. I'm not unfamiliar with these foresters. Stubborn to the end. They were passionate. I'll give them that. But they were ruled by their whims. Impetuous when they should have been shrewd. Noble and just to the end. But weak. When will these northerners ever learn? The Starks are dead. The war is over. And they lost. Is this the end? This better not be the fucking end. What? Okay, this better not be the fucking end. Because I'm going to be very upset. Oh, well, the trees. Oh. This poor fucker. Oh, god damn it. <clears throat> Please get up. Asha? My lord. Hey, they found him. We haven't much time. Okay, so she's alive, the sister. They may have won this battle, but they will not win the war. Okay, that was the dude who ratted us out. There's Beska. Oh, God, she's got Ryan! She saved him! Oh, I love Beska. She might be my favorite character. Her and Asha. What? Is this the fucking end? Oh, I guess they're setting up for a season two, but what the fuck? 
Oh, this was so anticlimactic. Anticlimactic? I can't even say the word. I can't believe that's it. I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed in that ending. What the fuck? Okay, am, am I the only one that is super disappointed? Now, what happened to Garrett? Garrett was gonna march on Ironrath, and there, uh, and Asher's still alive. So, okay, so he survives. Talia survives. Ryan survives. His two illegitimate children survive. Garrett survives. Royland does Sir Royland survive? What about uh, Roderick's fiance? Does she live? Does she have his baby? What happened to? Oh, thank God, Beska's alive. That's all I have to say. I mean, that was like they made. A big to do about saving the the North Grove, and then that was it. We just kind of like left. I have a lot of questions. I can't believe they ended it like that. It was awesome, great storytelling. Don't get me wrong. This like last episode, episode six, was one of the best of the whole the whole um, gameplay and storyline, but this ending? They have got to be setting up um, a season two. They've got to. There's no way they can end it like this. That's a huge cliffhanger. Hey, cliffhangers! Oh, damn it. Dapples the cat. <laughs> the first thing I see, Dapples the cat. <laughs> oh man, Telltale. Disappointed in the ending. I hope there's more. I hope there's a hint. This cliffhanger is terrible. Terrible cliffhanger. Only because I want to see what happens. I'm glad Asher survives. And Beska. And Ryan and Talia. Maybe they'll do like a time jump, like 10 years or something. When that fucking bitch, Gwyn. Oh, never trust a girl who goes against her daddy. <laughs> I can't. So she betrayed her father, her brother, her whole family. So what made him think that she wasn't going to betray him? I mean, he did, well, he did kill her brother and tried to poison his father. But, I mean, come on. He's been killing all of my family forever. Oh, God. That is unsatisfying. I'm sorry. I hate cliffhangers. But the good news is that within the next few weeks, um, Walking Dead the Michonne um, the Michonne uh, story is coming out it's before fall is over so hopefully within the next you know, today's the 19th of November hopefully the next two three weeks before Christmas I hope um, so I'm gonna get back to playing Call of Duty and Assassin's Creed and Uncharted 3 not necessarily in that order. I've um, I've just been so bogged down with games. I didn't even buy Fallout 4 yet. It's like I can't even get to it yet. Um, and then the ultimate countdown to Uncharted 4. Oh yes, oh, can't wait. Um, that's March 18th. That is like I'm gonna be going hard at that game when that comes out. There's like. Nothing is going to get done until that is finished. <laughs> I am going to be playing that over and over. But, um, all right. I guess that's it. Great story. Great gameplay. I loved it. Fell in love with the characters, but unsatisfying cliffhanger and ending. Very sad. But Telltale is awesome. 
I love Telltale, I love the game, but I just want to know more, I want to keep playing. So I guess that's, you know, a good, bad thing? I don't know. Alright, we'll be back tomorrow at more randomness.